I mean, aka the Piscean Seer, and this is one of your daily collective readings, okay? Like and subscribe if you get anything out of this. Thank you to those of you who do like, subscribe, and comment. It is greatly loved and appreciated. Welcome to all the new subscribers. I'm so happy to see y'all. Y'all is the family. I want y'all to know, okay? I've been just waiting on y'all. Um, and Okay, God, Archangels, Ancestors, Ascended Masters, All Beings of Light, only... You're welcome into this reading. Please give Pisces your collective the best and most accurate information for them at this time. I, why do I feel like I said that twice right now? It's all right. Ain't nothing wrong with saying it twice. Uh, I left my incense all the way over there. So sage it is. Who going to find the bitch? They all getting fine. You're going to be fine. Okay. So what was I talking about? Okay. I... Spirit gave me all these messages on the same day, okay, like on Sunday. So, the first thing I'm going to show you, okay, look, we're going to do the bullshit and then we're going to do the good shit, okay, because there's definitely some bullshit. So, um, they had me using my little Uno deck. I, I bought, They had me buy a Uno deck when I was at Five Below, spending more money than anyone should ever spend at Five Below, okay, but it's so easy. Everything's $5, okay. Um, so the calendar, okay. The calendar says, welcome to heaven. Would you like to buy a souvenir photo of your life? Okay. <laughs> now look, look at the little damn, look at the pictures. Okay. The dude's like, let me see. The dude's like horrified. Okay. He is not happy. He's sad right there. Okay. This ain't you. <laughs> I think you know that. This is not you. This is not what your souvenir pictures look like in heaven, okay? <laughs> this, Those are, that's how, I don't even know if the enemies that we're going to talk about are even going to make it. The song, I'm just a teenage dirtbag baby. Okay, look, I don't own the rights to any music you might hear in this video. It feels like it's loud, but every time I watch it back now, you can't hear the music at all. Baby with me. So somebody is, let me, let me show you, look, because I did a pre-pool. This is the nine of swords, the nine of pentacles, and the five of cups, right? Look, and I feel like somebody's in anxiety and loss around you and your personal wealth. See how like they around you, <laughs> okay? Um, which is really stupid, okay? <laughs> um... They just mad. Like people mad. Like I don't know why spirit always be wanting to tell me, want to talk about this. Like people fucking suck. Okay, so the first number. Oh, poker face. Okay, when I woke up, I seen on the little, on the little Roku screen thing, um, a show called Poker Face, and I started saying pa 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 poker face pa pa poker face because you know that's how spirit works. Okay. <laughs> I was like poker face like what could this what could those lyrics possibly have to say and i looked at it and i was like interesting but i never really know where spirit's going with shit okay i don't know where they gonna go with it they could go whichever way they feel like going okay it says so the lyrics to poker phrase says i want to hold them like they do in texas please fold them let them hit me raise it baby stay with me um, love game, intuition, play the cards with spades to start. And after he's been hooked, I'll play the one that's on his heart. Okay. So maybe somebody with intentions to like play games with your heart, you know, but you honor your spiritual self. Okay. So you see, you, you honor yourself, you honor your journey. So you fucking see, you already know what's up, where you're going. You already know who's planning on, um, trying to stab you in the back, you know? And honestly, I really feel like this is the energy of somebody. It's like, this is somebody who did some bullshit to you, okay? You already forgave them, okay? You already forgave them and tr transitioned past this shit. Um, you could be in a new relationship, okay? You could be in a new relationship and that relationship helped you to get over that quick, but you don't have to be in a new relationship. You just got over this shit really quick. Like this person is a queen of pinnacles, like in reverse. I I feel like it could be female, but you know, <laughs> there's lots of chicks walking around embodying that masculine energy. And there's lots of dudes walking around embodying the feminine energy. So, you know, oh, just get on my nerves. And I thought about changing it. 
But I was like, fuck that. I already got it on. Like, it's a whole body suit. It would have been a lot. <laughs> okay. Um, so this person is very insecure, unstable, okay? They're living their life in fear. It says someone who is lazy, suspicious, lacks motivation, feels insecure, and re neglects his or her responsibilities. It doesn't say his or her, because obviously it's the queen of pentacles, but this is the kind of shit that's going on. This shit say, think the clouds are clogging up my brain like the weather drains, same as the tears on my fat ace, and I'm stuck up in the storm eye. I guess I'll be all right. And I'm stuck up in the storm. I, I guess I'll be all right. Oh, oh, oh. Then it hits me like, oh, oh, no. Look, and you're that wind that swept them off their feet, got them flying to their crying and they down and they need to ease. That's what Dorothy was afraid of. That sneaky tornado. Oh, oh, oh. oh. So somebody is having a hard time getting over you like you just got over them so easy, you know. I don't feel like, I mean, this could be a relationship. This could be a friend. This could be a family member. It really doesn't matter. This is just like somebody has you on the brain all the time, okay. And they got this poker face on, okay. This is why they got me reading the poker face lyrics. They got this poker face on like they don't give a fuck, you know, or they not noticing or they not seeing what you're doing and how you operated and how you doing better and how you, you upgraded. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they're trying to act like they don't see that, you know, like trying to keep on this, this they saving face, okay. That's what they said. He said, I'm flopping on my, she said, I'm flopping on, on my bed like a flying squirrel, like a little girl hurt by the big bat. What a earl. Okay. She said, um, it's twisting at my insides. Can't hide it on the outside. Oh. So that's what's going on. They insides is twisting up and they starting to not be able to hide that shit on the outside. Okay. Um, it says, can't read my poker face. <laughs> no, he can't read my poker face. Oh, can't read my, can't read my, no, he can't read my poker face. It says, it says, pu -pu -pu poke her face, fuck -fu -fu her face. I never knew it said that, okay? But this could be somebody that's into that type of shit, you know what I'm saying? Getting their faces effed <laughs> or effing faces, you know? Like, they'd rather do that than ascend in life, okay? <laughs> Um, it says, I want to roll with him. A hard pair we will be. A little gambling is fun when you're with me. Russian roulette is not the same without a gun. And baby, when it's love, if it ain't rough, it isn't fun. This is also someone who doesn't know how to love. You know what I'm saying? They're like, oh, you know, if we don't argue, if there's not a little drama, if there's not a, you know, an issue or two, then, you know, this shit is not fun. Like, and that's, kind of where they was at when they was dealing with you, you know, they wasn't having fun because, um, you know, like you stopped being into the drama, like, like who has time for this shit? This sounds like somebody who likes to argue a lot. Okay. Um, it says, okay. So the first number is eight sixty five. It means without love of good. Okay. And God is good. Okay. <laughs> it says a hater of good, someone who is hostile to things of God. Okay. So this person is someone who was very hostile to you, you know, to your energy, you know, even when it's like it, the tiniest little shit would set this person off, you know, they were always away, always absent. The next number is 548. It says to be away, to be absent. Okay. And I also got a, Bi a Bible verse from that. And it was, <laughs> I rolled when I looked it up too. <laughs> it's first Corinthians verse five, chapter three. It says, for my part, even though I'm not physically present, I am with you in spirit. As one who is present with you in this way, I have already passed judgment in the name of our Lord Jesus on the one who has been doing this. Okay. I was like, yes. <laughs> okay. So 727, um, it says rapacious or ravenous. Um, it says an extortioner, a robber seizing or a sudden snatching like in a robbery. Okay. Um, you could have been robbed before this person could have had something to do with that, but it doesn't necessarily have to be that, you know, they could just be someone who's always like 
Like, even if, okay, even if you're in a group, right, and everybody's talking, you know, and you say some shit that kind of, like, makes everybody giggle or, you know, sparks up the conversation, you know, this is the type of person that will, you know, hurry up and try to, you know, like, rob the moment, you know what I mean? Like, oh, why are you getting all of this attention for five seconds? Fuck that. Let me say something or do something off the handle, you know, to get all of this attention away from you. Like, this person... This could be somebody that you used to go places with, but they didn't really, they don't really want to go places with you because you are the shit. <laughs> um, you have free will, okay? You manifest whatever it is that you want and people want you to come around because it's like, as soon as you come around, all of this magical shit starts happening and everybody's like, you know, oh yeah, I want them. Like, I want them to go. Um, I see Gemini, Scorpio, I want to say Sagittarius uh, and Gemini and Aquarius and Sagittarius and Scorpio. It's Scorpio. That's what it is. It's Scorpio. Anyway, you could be one of those signs or somebody else could be one of those signs. What is this? Pisces, Aries. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, crop circles, messages, curiosity, and signs, okay? This is, you got all the signs to get the fuck away from this person, you know? And it might have took you a while. I don't, like I said, I don't care if it's family, friends, none of that, okay? You, you needed to get away, okay? Because that person was, like, draining your ass. Look, you remembered. <laughs> it says starseed, memories, identity. So when you started remembering your identity, it started pissing bitches the fuck off. And let me tell you, these bitches still in loss and anxiety trying to figure out how they're going to stab you in the back, but it's just not going to happen. So 847... When I looked it up, these are all the Greek meanings of them. I am going to tell y'all the angel numbers, okay? But the angel numbers are the good news, right? <laughs> um, so um, it says, in that place there or here. And I was like, what? <laughs> but it had Matthew 26. Chapter 26, verse 36 right there. So I read it, you know, and it, it says... It was like, it was about Jesus and his disciples. Okay, it says, then Jesus went with his disciples to a place called um, Jethsmane. Okay, and he said to them, you might live in a city that starts with a G or you could have before. I don't know. Sit here while I go over and pray. Okay, that's what he said to them. He said to them, sit here while I go over there and pray. Okay, he took Peter and the two sons of Zebedee along with him, and he began to be sorrowful and troubled. Then um, he said to them, my soul is overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death. Stay here and keep watch with me. OK, going a little further, he fell with his face to the ground and prayed, my father, if it is possible, may this cup be taken from me yet not as I will, but as you will. OK, so you you adhere to the, the will of God. You know, you want, you want things in your life to go the way God wants the things to go in your life, you know? And that's really a problem. Like people don't talk about how much of a problem that is. That's a huge fucking problem for people. They don't, that is the, that's like the number one thing, you know, that pisses them off. And just the fact that you awaken to who you are, you know, and you're not, you're not open to mind control. You're not open to bullshit. They can't tell me nothing. That's what this was on. You comfortable. It says, baby, just be comfortable. I'll be right here next to you. Okay, guy right there next to you all the time. Like it says, then he returned um, to his disciples and found them sleeping. He said, couldn't y'all keep watch? <laughs> I'm going to just, that's not what it says. It says, couldn't you men keep watch with me for one hour? He asked Peter. Right. Like y'all couldn't just keep watch. Like why y'all sleep? <laughs> you know what I mean? I went over there and just prayed to God real quick, you know, and I just feel like that's symbolic of people totally sleeping on God. You know what I mean? It's like they not on the lookout for nothing. They're totally asleep, not paying attention to shit. I mean, we know that's not true about Peter and them, but, you know, <laughs> it says watch and pray. So that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Um, this could always also, like I did say, it could be 
an ex, okay? This could be someone who tries to appeal to the flesh of you. You know what I'm saying? Like you might be like, oh, I'm trying to, I'm trying to not smoke, you know, and then they'll always show up with something to smoke, like, or it's like, um, you know, oh, I'm not having sex right now, you know, then all of a sudden they want to come over and spend time with you, you know, that type of shit. It says he went away for a second time and prayed, my father, if it is not possible for this cup to be taken from me unless I drink it, may your will be done. And when he came back, he again found them sleeping because their eyes were heavy. OK, so he left them and went away once more and prayed the third time, saying the same thing. Then he returned to the disciples and said to them, are you still sleeping and resting? Look, the hour has come and the son of man is delivered into the hands of sinners. Rise. Let us go. Here comes my betrayer. <laughs> he was like, come on, let's go. They coming. <laughs> okay, so your betrayer or whoever this is, these people or person is, they could be trying to come toward you again, okay? For something, you know, some of them are coming, you know, to profess this love that they got, you know, but really they've been just spying on you, being in your business this whole time, you know, um, trying to contact people with actual foresight, you know, and vision to tell you their future so they can travel toward you. OK, that's the point of us telling you, I guess. But um, this says the energy of love and gratitude will fix all. So it's like you ain't got nothing to worry about. OK, you always going to get your four of wands, okay, it's always going to be the sun for you and you <laughs> always going to get this money. This is beautiful. Look, because you, you got temperance, okay? These fucking sneaky bitches. Look at this. These sneaky, greedy hoes <laughs> could never. They could fucking never. They could never. They couldn't. And they think they can, though. So they always going to try it, right? Because the ego is a motherfucker. The ego is like uh, is like cocaine, right? <laughs> because uh, I'm thinking about, I'm hearing uh, cocaine's a hell of a drug. Who said that? <laughs> that was um, on, um, shit, what is it? What is that nigga's name? That one comedian's show. I could not think of his name to save my life right now. It says phonology, what? It says philosophy, discrimination, and empathy, okay? It's like, you can kind of feel these bitches coming, okay? Um, I did say Gemini already, but you could be an air sign, or they could be air signs. It says you have, it says Aurora Boris, okay? Infinity, eternal past life. It's like, you have past lives on top of past lives, okay? Like, and if I am a reflection of him, then I must be fly because it's light. It shines so bright. I wouldn't lie. No. Okay. All right. So people are just totally stuck on you, your light. You know, this, I was scrolling through um, YouTube after I uh, answered comments. Okay. It says entitled people are on another level. Okay. Because I'll be watching that Charlotte DeBray's video title. Because she be reacting to some funny shit. But <laughs> these entitled people, they on another level, you know. They really feel like they're entitled to everything without having to do anything. It says utilitarian, organized, intimidating. The grays, okay. This dark oriented shit, you know. They much rather spend all of this time and money trying to hack into the minds of others than to just hack into their own mind, into their own heart. To figure shit out but all right let's move on <laughs> let's move on to you okay you wisdom keeper okay you feel safe feel safe and comfortable knowing that look you got all the strength courage and bravery that you need to handle any and all situations like nobody really can come to you and trick you in any way you know <sighs> like <laughs> it says controversial assessing new perspectives okay like it's like your new way of life is controversial like wherever you came from like they are really assessing you know your new ways of living um it's because you guys have if there's a conflict of interest here we night and day like you know we're just we're just not we're not here. We're not on. We're not here. Okay. We on a diff. We on another. Me and you are not the same. We're on a different time. Like that's one of my favorite little song quotes. These people are in their sh in their shadow self energy. Okay. Um, 
operating from places of denial, projecting, you know, trying to make you feel ashamed for being yourself just because they can't get their shit under control. I love him in every way that a woman should love me. I need some more cards. But most of all, it's unconditional. Okay, so angel number 865 tells you to be honest and straightforward in all of your interac interactions with others and be positive, productive, and powerful. Because as long as you're doing those things, you know, you are walking in your power. There's nothing anyone could do to tear you down. It says um, to conquer your day. Um, it says you will soon succeed because everyone is willing to support you because you do things the right way. OK, it says this is an acknowledgement that you have been working too hard. OK, <laughs> you might be working a little bit too hard. You know, sometimes your effortless effort is required. Spirit don't always want you, you know, um, like working and slaving and slaving and working. OK, and stay away from people that aren't looking for, you know, a serious long time, long term type of thing with you as far as relationships go. I'm laughing because he said for sure. This is rather be your, your nigga, okay, by Tupac. <laughs> you fucking with niggas that's insecure. Watered down my shit is pure. Write down my number, but don't call me till you sure. I ain't I ain't begging, just trying to relocate between your legs, dripping wet while we experiment sweaty sex. Ignore that type of shit, okay? <laughs> you can do that shit with your husband or your future wife. Like you don't have time to be um intertwining your soul with these nasty folks out here. And plus, it's like, like I said, you know, these people will use love to try to come at you. You know, they'll use love. OK, look at this. <laughs> Thank you, spirit. OK, they will use love. OK, to come around and win you the prize. OK, they will use that shit. You know what I'm saying? They see that you're going to get this money upgrade. They see your increase is coming, you know, and they're over here in this pos this um, poverty mindset. Some people are really thinking like, look at this. This is the Ten of Cups and generosity. You know what I'm saying? It's like they know you're abundant. They know, you know, and they know you're very generous too. They also know that you're emotionally intelligent and that they really not going to be able to get away with that shit, but it is not going to keep them from trying. So just watch it with that. The busters ain't loving you, right? <laughs> Okay, so our angel number 548 is a message of support and encouragement. Know that the universe supports you in your endeavors and in your material needs, okay? So if you've been worried about any material things or any any moves that you're making, as long as you're making, as long as you're co-creating with God like you're here to do, you don't have shit to worry about. Like, <laughs> I'm laughing at the lyrics to this song, <laughs> okay? What just happened? Okay, so it says 548 is a sign that indicates your intuition is right about something. It is telling you to pay attention to your intuition, okay? So maybe you know, like you know this. I mean, I feel like most of the time in readings, you know, they are telling you things that you're your intuition can confirm. Okay. So I'm not telling you nothing that you don't already know, especially since this is some old ass energy that just can't get over you. Um, it says 548 keeps coming into your life. When 548 keeps coming into your life, it means that you're on the right path. You're doing a good job moving towards your objectives. Okay. So you're doing a good old job, a good old job. Okay. You're doing a good old job. <laughs> just <laughs> keep it going. It says, therefore, when you see specific trends in your life and that do not wait, it says, when you see specific trends in your life, do not conform. Oh, forgiving. Forgiving is one of the aspects of 548. Therefore, when you see specific trends in your life and do not conform, 
that do not conform with your attributes, you know, then just release them. Like if you, you notice something is not really going quite that way, you know, like it's not really meshing with your energy, then you got to release that shit, no matter how big or small it is, because that will hold you back from getting whatever blessing spirit has for you. I need some more cards. No. I just don't know which cards I want. <laughs> it says um, 727, which is the next number, is a sign to focus on yourself. Now is the time to think about what you want out of life, who you want to be, and what you want to do. You have gained enough experience. You have gone through many obstacles, but you have succeeded and won. Like you've already won. That's the thing about God, you know, and manifesting. You have to look at things like shit is already done. You know, God's already done it for you. This is Rex <laughs> by Yellow Beezy. Okay. You might be about to get some Rex. It says um, 727 is the number of feeling and emotions and spiritual awakenings. It is associated with balance, harmony, duality, peace, and adaptability. Like you are the winner already. <laughs> okay. Let me see. What is it? 847. And then I'm done with these notes. So 847 indicates uh, personal power, honesty, and integrity, attaining and achieving goals and dedication to living a purposeful life. Um, your angels have noticed that your drive is waning of late. You have become discouraged by the turn of events in your life. Some of you could could be feeling that way, you know, could be feeling a little bit discouraged, you know, like, you know, is this working? Like, is this going to go, you know, but you just got to keep on doing it. Like whatever, whatever you put all of your energy and attention into, please believe that is what manifests. Okay. So just know that if you are around folks and you're feeling that energy, you know, like you don't want to be around folks, then get some around folks because they are projecting. Okay. <laughs> it says clean up time, okay? <laughs> keep your keep your shit, your environment as clean as possible. You know, don't allow these bitches to come in and try to get back with you now. Like now that you better, don't have don't try to, you know, like you've done some powerful, powerful personal growth, okay? That's what's going on here. Like, and I feel like everybody sees it. Like everybody is looking, they looking at you. They daydreaming about you, okay? And they plotting and planning to try to see how they can benefit from your blessings, okay? They could benefit if they just went within, then maybe they could come back around you, but nah. You spirit saying, expect a wonderful idea, okay? Some sort of aha moment. This says glamour, intrigue, and drama. Okay. You have removed the mask. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's like I'm hearing that you, like, you cause drama, but like, you really don't try to. Like, you're just not worrying about nothing, you know? It says, attempting offer at a high price, intoxication, distorted view, and overindulgence. And it says, ghost people. You feel me? <laughs> like, that's, it says, a powerful energy shift and um, counter blessings. Somebody about to make a transition into the spirit realm. That's what it said. <laughs> Let me see. It says, storm angel, collision of belief styles, attitudes, and energies. This is what we're really here to talk about i guess <laughs> i was gonna try to like look i am kali okay Ooh, you got kali in your energy kali like blood okay kali won't blood she won't she taking hits but from death comes rebirth okay that's what it says you know you have a new beginning so i hope you're not holding on to anything go ahead and release it but I, like I said in the beginning, you already did. You already released this shit. You already moved on to everything. Like, I really don't know why we're talking about this. Why are we talking about this, spirit? 
it says witch at the end of the world and important ends a new beginning. Okay. <laughs> so that, I guess this witch is about to come to an end. Okay. For fucking with you. Look, when, we, when you get caught in the rain with nowhere to run, when you're distraught and in pain without anyone, when you keep crying out to be saved, this person could be um, crying out to be saved. Okay. Look, I like this card. When they be like, we're here. <laughs> They out here giving bitches all tricks, no treats. Look, voodoo and uh, voodoo and blue, back off, okay? Like, this is what's going on. Oh, gosh. It's like you would think, you would think after a while they would just learn, but, you know, I think they proved they're not here to learn like we are. <laughs> they was, but they was like, eh, I'd rather just do. Ooh. I don't even know what to call this. I'm not even gonna lie. Look, travel. Okay, you could have traveled away from this, or you could be about to travel soon. There's a cruise ship on here. Big Ben is on here. I see some Roman shit. These could be places you always wanted to go. The Statue of Liberty is on here. There's a boot on here, which gives me like India, New York. Um, I was going to say, I'm surprised the Eiffel Tower ain't on here, but it totally is. There's the Eiffel Tower. There's some mountains, okay? You might like to ski. You might love to spend time at the beach with your sun hat on because it's a sun hat right here. <laughs> Look at this epiphany again, okay? There's some sort of like, some sort of idea you either had or you're about to have, you know, and it's taking you to a, a whole nother level. Like, it's taking you away from all of the broken hearts and sadness, you know? Look at this nature. You need to spend more time in nature, okay? Like, just appreciate just appreciate the beauty of it. You know, this is not even about, like, going outside, sitting outside all day. You know what I mean? Just, like, how are you looking at the world when you go outside? Like, because I, I came in the house, like, it's a beautiful day, okay? Because I always go outside and ground myself before I read. Well, not always, but sometimes I go outside and ground myself before I read. And my dog was not having it any other way. He was like, we finna go outside. Oh my, oh, I know. Uh, what is this? <gasps> Excuse me. It says, you have received this card as the universe wants you to leave the confines of your home or office and step away from technology. This is a time to remember that beauty surrounds you in the great outdoors. We are constantly busy and at times can feel ungrounded and disconnected from the universe. The nature card is a gentle reminder that it's time to stop and go outside. Being among nature is a very positive and uplifting experience of your soul as it can help you to relax, release, and de-stress from your everyday busy life. Um, nature can also reconnect you to the source of energy of the universe to help you find your higher self. Um, the message from this card is to tell you to go outside, listen to the birds, feel the breeze pass by and look up to the sky and watch the clouds and their glorious formations and colors. Watch the sunrise or sunset, look out to shooting stars or the phases of the moon above you. Look for signs from nature in the form of insects such as butterflies, dragonflies, or ladybirds. Um, watch as birds in their various shapes and forms pay you a visit. Look out for feathers as a sign from above. Find a tree you can sit under and relax and read a book. Or better still, give a tree a hug. <laughs> give a tree a hug and feel the positive energy um, the tree surrounds you with. You may also wish to take time out to work in the garden, planting new shrubs, building a veggie patch, or weeding and tending to your garden space. If you don't have a garden, don't despair. Nature will connect you with, wait, connect with you wherever you need her to. You may choose to go for a walk, visit a park, the beach, or mountains. Or simply just go outside, take off your shoes, and feel the grass beneath your toes. The most important thing for you to do is go outside today to reconnect and feel the peace. They say go outside a lot, huh? <laughs> Why did back to the streets come on? <laughs> it's very funny. <laughs> Which boy got him on deck?
Good boy. Tell that nigga fetch eye. Look at the lovers. Okay. I mean, if you're not in love already, okay, you might like love is in the air. And every time I hear that, I hear that, I hear that Lil Wayne line where he'd be like, they say love is in the air. So I hold my breath to my face, turn purple, keep a few bad bitches in my circle. My nuts hang like ain't no curfew. Bitch, if you wave, then I will surf you, which makes me feel like that's what you be on. Okay. Don't avoid love. Okay. Breathe in the love. Don't hold your breath. <laughs> okay. Some of you need to do some breathing exercises. I'm pretty much done. I'm just letting, I'm just like letting spirit say anything else they need to say. To a flashback. Last one got on my last nerve. Made me go change my passwords. I hit the curve with that swerve. You know, I get the last word. So, yeah. I'm done. <laughs> Spirit don't have nothing else to say, okay? They just saying it's time to be brave. Go forth. Do live your day. Live your life. Um, just enjoy the nature, okay? And avoid, like, fuck people. Okay. <laughs> Bye.